What's up, people? Just doing a quick video on this Benchmade 535 bug out. Um, I typically don't do videos with my face and whatnot in it, but I just didn't feel like going down my basement and setting up like half decent lighting, which is the best I can ever get on my videos because I just don't spend the time or money to fix it up. But um, there's a bunch of other videos on this knife, and you can get the specs off of Blade HQ, so it's really not to really showcase the knife that much. Just give my thoughts on it. Um, like I've had this for about a month, maybe a little longer, a month and a half, something like that. And I have to say that I really do like this knife. Um, we'll start off with ergonomics. Um, it's just a straight back knife. The design's, you know, nothing crazy or wonky. It's just really a standard handle, and I like that. Um, there's no thumb ramp. I'm not a big fan of thumb ramps. There's some knives that, I, that have thumb ramps that I don't mind. But for the most part, I just feel like it's always a limiter for me. Like, this, they force you to get your hand in that position. Like, if I want to push up a little bit or if I'm doing something... You know, I'm kind of limited, and that's just my preference, but it is what it is. So I do like the ergonomics. There's nothing, like I said, it's a basic handle design that's comfortable in all the positions of the knife. Nothing to complain about hotspot-wise. The clip's fine. Every once in a while, I will say this, and this is kind of me. I'll put it in my hand, grab it, and it kind of like throws my pinky off. Something feels a little odd at first, and then sometimes I grab it, and it's absolutely perfect. So I don't know what the hell I do but it is what it is um onto the pocket clip it's a deep carry pocket clip right or left hand carry um i don't i don't care whether the clips deep carry or not uh to be quite honest i'm not worried about concealing the knife or no one anyone knowing i have a knife i don't really give a shit so that being said this clip is functional um it's a little loose and i don't know if you'll be able to see it in this video oh, i got there you go there is a little space between the clip and the handle material and uh it feels loose in some pants not all my pants but um a few of them it felt loose in now i could just take it off and bend it down a little bit to get the tension where i wanted it to be but like i said it's not felt like it's going to fall out of my pocket it just kind of moves left to right but it doesn't like come out of the pocket if you get what i'm saying not as much tension as i like it's a little bit of a hit but like i said i could fix it but it hasn't affected it enough for me to even take the time to do it um the blade three quarter ground a little bit more probably than three quarters of the ground full, full flat ground s30b blade um the steel i haven't sharpened this knife yet so um i've stropped it and it's held up fine common s30b it's nice thin blade stock and it's reasonably thin behind the edge this thing really does slice very well i've cut up a bunch of cardboard some zip ties food would not um it definitely slices if you have a manix 2 lightweight or a manix 2 definitely slices probably a little bit better than that um action on it is a uh, mediocre for bench man it's just not a free dropper but sorry if you hear my kids screaming in the background but like doing the typical bench made flick it's fine it just takes a little bit of a flick that's it but like i said it's not a free dropper the blade's pretty light it is a lightweight knife i mean this thing weighs less two ounces or like right under two ounces so um for the weight it's kind of hard to beat this knife you get a nice full you know i call it full size any knife between three and four inch blade uh, i'd consider a full size edc knife um you know anything bigger than four inches and even some people four inches is way too big for some people to edc um i'm edc quite close to a four inch blade today and uh i don't mind it but that is on the huge side anything bigger than four inches is uh, what's that dude say? The Mercury or some shit like that? Like, it's a big-ass knife. More for, I'd say, fighting purposes than EDC. But, um, so I consider this a full-size. A 3-inch cutting edge is pretty full-size for a knife. It does everything I want to do. And it's super lightweight. And, honestly, I have this thing in my pocket a bunch. And, uh, I kind of forget it's just even in there. So, in that aspect, it's really good. Um, my hits on the knife are... Uh, as Patrick would say if he watches this, but he's a douche and uh, every Benchmade he gets has like some kind of shitty quality issues. Um, my last three have been pretty decent. This one's no exemption No exemption. No exception um, It does have a little issues. There is a little bit of blade play You really got to force it left and right Not like a ton and it's not enough to bother me side to side play is doable with me Especially if you really got to like force to get a little wobble out of it um I don't feel it in use or anything like that, so it doesn't bother me. There's no up and down play. Um, that is a huge pet peeve of mine. 
why the difference is I can usually feel it when I'm using it to cut shit and it just irritates me and I can't deal with it. So I know some people are like that with side to side. Mine does have a tiny bit. Um, I could tighten the pivot back up, but the action would be super tight. And um, it was when I bought it. There was no play, but the action was really tight. Might, might I be able to dick with it for like a half hour and get it perfect? Possibly, I don't know, but I'm not going to take the time because like I said, it's not bothering me. So the blade play, a little bit of issue. Um, centering on this knife came perfect. And even when I adjusted it, it's still perfect. So um, that being said, the blade, since I'm doing the video this style, you're not really going to be able to see it. But Benchmade sharpening, and you know, I've had a couple spider codes lately that were kind of shitty too. But the sharpening job isn't the best. It, on one side, it's thin, not super thin, but thinner. Thinner, thickens a lot in the belly or in the up sweep, and then thins back out at the tip. And then the other side's pretty consistent. So a little bit of a, you know, QC issue, but not like a big deal. I mean, if you sharpen your own eyes, I do. It's not going to take any more time to fix that up, really, or no significant amount of time to fix that when I sharpen it anyway. So those two issues are about the only quality control issues or anything that I see on this knife. Even as a sharpening trial, and it's done actually pretty well for Benchmade. Um, there's no flaring on the ass end. If there is, there's a tiny bit. They could have, even still, they could have went out like maybe not even an eighth of an inch more, and it would have been absolutely perfect. But I don't think this one is really going to have any effect when you sharpen it. I don't think you're going to be able to tell. I'll be able to correct it enough just with the stones and not make the trial any bigger. So pretty damn good for Benchmade because they're usually way the hell off when they do these. So, that being said, you know, all in all, I think it's a solid, medium, you know, sized EDC lightweight knife. Um, honestly, between this and the Manix 2 lightweight, and I also have a native lightweight, um, I kind of, I actually like the native, this is off track of this knife, but I actually like the native platform kind of the best. I mean, it is smaller, and I just like the ergonomics of it, but I don't like the lightweight knife version of the Manix, um, the Volcano grip with the clip on is super tight. So that being said, out of these two, the most carried out of this and the Manix 2 lightweight, it's kind of a tie to be quite honest. This knife is better, as in it slices a little bit better, I believe. And um, it's lighter and it's definitely a slimmer profile in the pocket. So if you're looking for like the most concealable version of a lightweight, medium sized knife, this is definitely it. The Manix 2, I think is a little bit better as a, um, everyday EDC and the only reason I'm saying that is when you're just cutting up a couple of things with this knife it's no big deal but this knife is thin this way so when I grab it if you can see here and I'm really bearing down or if I'm doing like prolonged use my fingers kind of dig into my own palm um, but um, I'm not really gonna break this knife out to cut up a ton of boxes or do other crazy shit with it if I had to do it I could it totally is functional it totally would work um, I have broken up some boxes with it, but like I said, I've had a big bass pile of cardboard. The Manx 2 is a little bit more comfortable because it's wider and prolonged use than this knife to me. But as a general EDC lightweight knife, this is great. Honestly, um, I think they'll, I know they've already sold a bunch and they'll probably keep selling a bunch of these. You can get aftermarket scales for these carbon fiber, G10, whatever, and, but you're talking, I think they're around 75 to 100 bucks, something like that. Um, I'm not going to spend the money. These grivery handles or grivery, whatever you say, the plasticky handles, um, really aren't that bad. I don't have any problem with them. You know, there is a little flex in them. But even, like, pushing back on this side, you can see it flex a little bit. But in use, I don't feel it. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like, you know, it's going to fall apart or something when you're using it. So, all in all, I think it's a great knife. If you're thinking about one and it fits that, type of bill for you i'd say pick it up but i don't think you can really go wrong, wrong with it i mean if you do have some shitty qc issues benchmade does have a great warranty um that's one thing you can't say about them so um yeah that's it people so talk to y'all later i'm out